Okay. We can just get a notepad going here. Okay, first of all, uh, you would have already received your uh, login instructions. And if you log in, you'll get something like this. Sometimes it looks a bit different depending on which of these um, buttons you open or close. If I open this, you can see 44 pages and it's running on WordPress using the DV theme. DV is what we use for the page builder we use on the site. And, okay, what you need to know is how to create pages and edit them. Um, create news pages, news or blogs, how to um, upload media. Uh, media consists of pictures as well as PDFs. Okay, so first of all, let's do create and edit pages. If you already have a website, you will see. Let's go to this website. Usually best practices is to keep open two pages. One where you log one where you log in and you see the back end because the back end and then the front end is what everyone sees. Okay. So this is a home page. We have one, two, three, four, five, six pages. Let's see if there's more. Okay, that's about it. And here we also have more pages. Civil engineering, one, two, three, four pages. Okay. So, if you've logged in here into WordPress, you will also be logged in in every page. So you'll get this black bar. On this black bar, you can edit that page, particular page. So let's see, if we go to projects now, you still have the same thing. You'll be able to edit this page. Another thing you'll be able to do is create a new post, media, page or project. This site is not using projects, but um, just FYI. So let's um, create a new page. And um, first of all, let me show you how, you how to edit the page. So say we have this page and we want to edit some text. Um, so we want to just highlight or underscore underline um, skills development as a, some kind of feature. So what you do is you click on edit page. It will take you to the back end. If the internet works with us. And it will look like this. You'll see you're on the home page. Okay, this is for SEO stuff. Sorry, it's still loading. Let's close that. Thing you need is the page builder. Okay. So, page builder, if we look at the home page, I'll just go back to the home page. You'll see a full list slider. This is the full word slider. And you'll see three columns. Column one, two, and three. Text in. So here you see column one, two, and three. Okay. So we saw uh, skills development, it's in the middle column. So we go to the big text box in the middle column. Skills development. And it works like regular old Google. Ugh, um, sorry. Word. So now I can basically um, make it bold. Then we have it in bold or bold italic. We 
which is italic if you need more options you can tag and press this toggle bar you can also use this full screen no it doesn't like a work this being and now i can't do anything let's start again for this page Wait for the page to load. We're looking for this page builder block. This is the slider. So if you look at this page, you'll see there's a big slider sliding. And then three columns. If you look at here, you have three columns. Okay, middle column, we have skills for middle and we want to build it. Is it no skills relevant? There you go. Then you click save and then update. So once you update this, it will be online. And you refresh that page. And then you'll see your change immediately. There you go. Okay, now to update something like this. Uh, a PDF with a button. If you want to, um, let's see. I'm going to create a new section, um, and I'm just going to duplicate this box so I can edit it. So this is duplication. So I duplicate it, and then I'm going to edit it by clicking on these three bars okay so this is what i'm looking at you'll see here it's a box gray box we have a box 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 okay let's just delete this first part i just want to show you how to change this link or change this text on this button so here you can see button link button this is the link where it's going it's going to a pdf new window it's going to yes and this is the text everything between the brackets you always have an opening bracket and a closing bracket that has a little slash in front of it and you always have a box that's an opening box i deleted my opening box oopsie so it has an opening box and a closing box okay so if you want to edit this pdf you have to upload a new pdf okay so i can quickly show you how to make a new button and then how to add a link to it so if you go up here, you'll see here's some um, buttons. If you click on button, it will ask you where it should go. So you enter your PDF link in there. If it's small, if it's big, I think it's small, it's blue. And then button text. This is my test button. And I want it to open in a new window because it's a PD going to be a PDF. So I say yes, and I say okay. So it's going to look weird. It's going to look like this. Okay. And if I save it and update it, you'll see right here in my home page. Let's refresh. It's going to have another box. Okay, here was a this is my test button. And the box. It keeps me on the wrong side, but um, I'll fix it now. Um, this is my test button. So if I click on this, it will go nowhere because we haven't entered the link yet. Okay. So now I'm finding media or something to link it to. Okay, let's 
so much food for that. Okay, this is a button. So you can also, if you already know the link or you want to um, link it to another web website, web page, you can do it also with these kind of links. Okay, but first of all, we need to upload some new media. Okay, so you go to media, you can go here and say media, upload new media, all media. Okay, let's just go here and say media. In media, you can upload galleries, pictures, and um, anything else. Let's find a PDF. This is my. Let's do some of this PDF. PDF, drop here. We'll upload it. So once you've uploaded, it will be in your media library. So you can access it anytime and use it anywhere on the site as well. Okay, it's optimizing it. And then once it's done, it will give you this little edit thing. If you click here on edit, we'll find the link there. see okay file url here on the right hand side copy this whole file url say copy and now we can go back to the page we want to edit and close these it's on the home page we want to put the pdf in this link edit page And again that little button so what you can do now you can create a new one add the link there the full pdf link here you can choose colors small or big say my new pdf open a new window it's good policy to put all um, um, choose all pdfs to open a new window Update. Let's view this page once it's updated. And now you will see my new PDF. Okay, so if I click on this, it will send you to that new upload. Okay. There we go. Let's just remove it. There we go. Okay, so this is quite easy. Let's see what's next. Um, once you create a page, you can just say page new. And everything works like Word. It's quite easy. You just enter your title of the page. And you will also add it media. If you click here, you'll be able to add it. To add text. If you click on this toggle, it will give more it will give you more options so hello world heading one this is a page okay this is how all wordpress stuff works except on this side it works with a theme or a page builder and works a little different little differently okay 
So what I do is I say huge page builder. So I'll use the page builder to get columns like these ones. This is the page builder, but you don't have to use it in your pages. Okay. So if you want to use the page builder, you say you use the page builder and you put will put it in a box like this. And here you have the stuff that you've already entered. Um, okay. And we can just do the regular stuff you would normally do on a site. Some bullets. Putting second headings, things like that. If you want to link something, go to this box, edit link, say cnn.com. Open link in a new tab, yes. Okay. And publish and publish. So okay, this is a test page. Okay. Once it's done, you can view the page by clicking on this link. Okay, there you go. Now, if you want to edit any of your pages that we've done for you, it's going to look quite um, confusing. So, let's see. This Vitex Silver Engineering, for instance, this page has a lot of info on it, has a lot of stuff. So I'm going to show you how to edit a page like this. I'll just open two of them so I can edit the one and look at the other. So this page, you'll see it has a full width header, has a heading, it's text, it has these boxes that's still trying to download. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, this is four columns, four columns. This is probably in its own row because it has a different color, another four columns four columns four columns um, okay so say you want to edit one of these or move these two around you are welcome to do that I'll quickly show you how I say edit page so we want to swap these two around see this page builder looks a bit weird but um, if you open the two next to each other you'll easily find your way so okay this is in one of the columns second column let's see here we have that header full width header text it's probably this text okay and then a row, this is a row, or a row, and we have four columns, so it's probably this one. So you can check, auto reciting, yes it is. This is the image, and if I close it, I can just drag and swap these two around. And drag that one back. Okay, so if I update now, we have these two swapped. If I need to duplicate one of them, I can just click on this, it will duplicate. So we'll have two of these. Um, let's delete it again. If you want to duplicate this entire row, you can just say this, duplicate, it will duplicate the entire row. Delete it again. And you can swap almost anything. Okay, so I can swap this one with the one above it or below it 
Um, it's always pretty easy. If you want to edit it, you can say here's the title, you can edit. And this is the link where it's going. So you have the options to do all that. Okay, there we go. Uh, if you don't know what all your stuff is, but it's best not to change change it, um, or you can ask us to change it for you, or figure it out for yourself. Okay, let's try a new page, a different one. So project. Oh, we can click on one of these. See where it goes and what it looks like. Okay, has a full width header, some pictures, a link that goes back to solar engineering, some texts, text, horrible code there. Okay, so say you want to um, upload new pictures, you can do that. Um, if you want to change this link, if you want to need, need to update any of these texts, it's quite easy. We'll just open a new duplicate at the same page. And we'll edit this one. It's a booster pump station. You can edit the title. Full with header. If you need to edit the header, you can change it here. Subheading. Okay. There are the images and the text boxes. In this text box, you will have this um, link. This text box is this one. Okay. So if you need, if you need to edit this one or swap it, so you can swap it around as you like. Um, click on that those three lines and here you can edit the text go back and so on and so forth if you want to um let's see we've covered about this um creating pages and editing pages okay so next up creating news items don't know if this size has news, but we will create some news anyway for it. So if you want some news, you will say new post. Post is news or blog. Okay. Um, latest success story. Spelling, okay. Enter your text just like um, you would with anything else. Heading, start heading. Um, add some formatting to it. Okay, and now also. I'll quickly show you. You can have um, categories when it comes to news. So it will, if I publish this now, it will go to uncategorized. But I can add news or add this category or um, blog or whatever category. So I'll make this a news item. Uh, you can save a featured image if you like. Um, let's see. Let's find some text. Not known for having a lot of text around. Okay, let's do this. Text. So we have text. If I publish, let's see, I do have a new post. As you can see, you'll have if news, you have all these kinds of stuff added 
to um, add it to the page, search page, um, recent post, comments, archives, categories. So here we go, and comments, so people can leave comments, okay. And who posted it, date of post, no comments. So add a comment, hello, great post. comments okay who I don't have the caption on stored yet still working on that anyway so now I want to add a picture so I can just say edit post click here if I want to add it from the top add media so from here you can insert media, you can either drag some, um, if you have a picture here on your desktop you like, drag it into your post or you can choose from the media library all the pictures that's already on the site. Okay, so let's, let's do this one. Here you can choose alignment, do I want it right aligned and link to nowhere. And here I can choose full size. I will do medium size, insert into post. It will end up here. And I can edit it again if I click on the little pencil here. I can change it here again. I can add a caption. Um, latest whatever update and it'll give you this little box around it update you post okay there we go, and you can move to left, right, top, wherever. Now, if your site does not have um, a blog, um, it's going to be difficult for people to find this this page. So, um, just let us know. We can set up the blog um, the blog site for you. Okay. So this is posts. 